Hey guys, tip 74, own your story. When starting to write 80 Things That Changed My Life, it was firstly a way for me to come to grips with everything that had happened over the last year or so. And now I have the opportunity to share the knowledge that I accumulated over the last couple of years with you. I know some of you may feel as though your life is boring or uninteresting or you don't have anything that's particularly unique to share about your story, but that's a good thing. I guarantee there is somebody else on this planet going through the exact same thing you are and feeling the exact same way. We're all humans on this planet and if you're reading this or watching this video right now, you have the right to free speech. So use your commonality as a way of sharing your story with others. Look at how everybody goes crazy over celebrities. We love following them. I love following them on Instagram, on Snapchat, on Facebook, on YouTube. But when you strip them naked, they are no different to you and me. We're just fascinated by what's going on in their lives and feeling as though we're a part of it. Even if writing down your story is just a way of venting out what's going on in your head, that's okay. Being honest with myself and just having nothing but love for what I'd gone through and nothing but love for what I'd written was truly really difficult but so empowering. Sure, you may cringe at certain parts of your own story, I know I did, but that's all part of venting it out and finding love for yourself. Because at the end of the day, if you hadn't gone through what you'd been through, you wouldn't be where you are today. And that right there is the foundation that's gonna set you up for where you want to be in the future. I will be the first to admit that I am not a professional writer. I did not excel at English in school. I merely had a story to tell and I encourage you to do the same and to share your story with others. And I just want to share, this is not in the book, but it's just something that's happened since writing 80 things and since actually doing YouTube videos. The first ever YouTube video I ever created was a video telling everybody what had gone on in the last six months and how I'd sort of handled that. and what my YouTube channel was going to be moving forward. And to be honest, in the last couple of months, I have considered taking down that first video and moving on from it and just embracing the new content that I'd created. But just recently, I got an email from an amazing young lady who had said that she'd watched my first ever video and had been recently diagnosed with a similar prognosis to me. Now, she'd already been considering not going down the mainstream medical route. But by watching my video, it gave her the courage to look after her body herself and go the alternative route. And I just got an email from her the other day telling me thank you for my first ever video and telling me that her test results had just come back all normal. To me, that was just the best feeling in the world. Knowing that by me making a small little video sharing people my story and what I'd been through, had encouraged her to do something and to take control back of her health. Now that is truly the greatest feeling in the world. So again, tip 74, own your story, get writing and embrace what you have to tell the world. Moral of the story guys, cook at home. Know what's going into your meals and know what food's going into your body. Speaking of cooking at home, we've got our dinner right here.